All right, uh, I'm doing a quickie video here just about um, a two color set on um, that's going to be a discharge print that's going on to kind of these maroon tees. So here's the original art. Um, Everywhere is white would be maroon. And um, one of our concerns here is, you know, this um, black half toning black half toning happening, kind of shading these upper parts of a few of these letters. Um, if we traditionally pulled this, then there'd kind of be um, some missing information in the, the yellow area. And with a discharge print, a lot of times it works really nice just to print solid back there and then let the halftone overprint on top of it. And then it blends a little smoother um, rather than trying to um, lay dots into little uh, crevices in the yellow. Um, we're, we'll, the goal here is to print a solid yellow um, throughout this area and then let the half tone just be printed on top of it. And it makes registration um, a lot easier and it just looks cleaner because um, we don't have some potential gaps uh, with the garment color showing through in this area. So, um, my buddy Billy took a stab at this and he, I'm assuming he did it the more traditional method because if I look at this, um, you can see that tapering off of the color um, and so there is a chance we might have uh, some some problems with um, the garment color showing through in these areas where the half tones of the black and the yellow meet um, so the way that we want to get around that is um, to go ahead and try to have a solid area behind there so Here's the way that I'd go about doing this set right quick. Um, I'm going to ditch this old one. Um, and then on this original, um, I just want to crop it real quick. So I just uh, command clicked on um, the composite channel and then I'm going to select inverse and then go ahead and image crop. Cool. Um, double check my resolutions reasonable, which it is. And then. Um, my next step here is uh, to start building the channel. So um, I'm going to make a duplicate of this file, just kind of as my work file. Um, cool. And um, my quickest um, route to get just solid everywhere, I'm just going to turn this grayscale, hit my curves, and you can kind of see um, where this lighter area is at this spike right here. So I'm going to push my black point all the way over there. And that's pretty much going to make everything solid. And then I'll just push my white point a little bit just in case there's some dust out here that I don't know about. Okay, is good there. Um, we're already grayscale, so I'm going to set, select all, copy, jump back over here. And um, I'm just going to build my channel step on the original file. No big whoop there. So, um, oops, uh, let's do uh, a new channel, select all, paste in. Um, this is going to be. 116 for our yellow and we might as well make a garment channel as well um, let's just fill that all with black and something maroon like 1805 or 1815 should work we'll just call this garment color put it at the top of the order which is actually the bottom of the stack and channels okay so now I've got a solid um, yellow printing um, which works fine um, next step let's just roll back our history on this guy Oops. Um, to the original image and then uh, next I want to pull the black and a really easy way to pull black out of an RGB image is just go image adjustments um, black and white and then I want to use the preset called Maximum White, which basically pushes white into um, the areas wherever there's color, um, leaving just the black for us. So um, there's all the black information. I'm going to go grayscale, select all, copy, jump back over here. Now I need another channel. Um, we'll just call this uh, Pantone Black. OK. Select all, paste that in. So that's my black. Um, one thing, um, in the areas where there's 100% black, I don't want to be printing that right on top of a yellow ink. Um, that's pretty amateur, and, um, and it's just going to affect the cure of the garment. There's just too much ink going down. 100% yellow, 100% black, all piled on together. Um, it's just bad practice. So 
I'm going to duplicate this channel real quick. Um, I'm basically using it just to kind of create a mass to knock out all the 100% areas. The way I'm going to do that is just bring up curves real quick. And just to get rid of this stuff, which you can see is kind of from here to about there, I'm just going to push my white point until all that stuff disappears. And you can see I'm just left with my solid black stuff. And I'll just kind of enforce that black a little bit. OK. Um, I'm going to command click on that channel, go to my yellow channel, and just go ahead and do a knockout. So um, this, and since I have white in my foreground, I'll do an option delete. Boom. Knocked it right out. Um, I can ditch that mask I just made, essentially. Um, and now we've got black on top of yellow. Here's our garment color. If I turn my black on and off, you can see um, that I've got a solid yellow behind the, the, the kind of shading, uh, which is exactly what I want. Um, I did notice I have this kind of fuzzy edge, which is I don't think it's going to be noticeable at all. Um, if we go back and just look at the original instead, um, I'm not seeing it there. But I am seeing that edge, which kind of like was catching my eye. Um, if we look there, that's fine. Um, really, this, this little fuzz along here is not a huge deal. Um, nothing to be worried about so I think we're just gonna roll with it like this um, I do like to well at this point I can ditch my RGB channels like this so I have a proper multi-channel file um, I do want to make sure my blacks 100% in those areas which it is um, up here it's in the 50 60 percent range um, Black has a tendency to be a little bit aggressive, um, but there's not a lot here going on, so I'm not going to be too aggressive. Sometimes I'll even take curved black down by 30% or so, but um, I think just taking it down like a 15% um, midpoint curve right there. It's just converting our 50s into it's shaving about 15% off, so um, I think that's just going to print a lot smoother um, and, and not be quite as, you know, black just turns out to be a little heavier than we see on screen, so um, this is just limiting that a little bit, but um, other than that, I think this is a done deal for just a quick um, two-color set, um, just using, um, you know, a couple interesting methods, like, in fact, you know, not much about our, like, pulling the yellow, for example, we had none, none of that method involved actually the color yellow, like using a channel mixer or color range or whatever, you know, we were able to just get all the yellow by, you know, pushing um, the black point over on a grayscale file, making all this stuff black, and then knocking out the true 100% black. So, uh, just um, a couple tricks on how to whip out a quick set. All right, that's it.